Hey everyone, we're the Engineering Chicks. I'm Ashley and I'm here with Emily. And today we're going to be talking about our Office Ergonomics and Time Study project. So to give you an overview of our project, the purpose of this project is to optimize the check-in desk at a doctor's office by using systems engineering and ergonomic principles to do three things. So first, minimize the patient check-in time, increase the comfort of the desk user, and streamline and improve the work area. So the check-in process can be hectic if there's more than one patient um, at the check-in window. So it needs to be quick. Um, and some of the ergonomic things we were going to focus on was discomfort in the chair and um, the user is required to lift um, a heavy bin from the floor. So we're going to address that as well. So um, here's some of the areas that we're going to focus on. We're going to use the 5S principles to declutter and organize the work desk. And then we're going to look at some of the standards for chair height, computer monitor height, computer monitor angle, keyboard specifications, um, a more ergonomic way to handle a heavy file bin. And we'll show you a picture of that in a minute. And then our hypothesis states that the proposed ergonomic and systems engineering changes will have an effect on the time it takes to complete tasks that the work desk user has to accomplish. So now I'm going to talk about our time study and kind of how we did this. So we observed the office worker for two days. So on the first day, nothing was changed. We just watched them do their job um, and recorded all the steps that it takes to check in a patient. And then we made changes based on what we saw. And then on the second day, we uh, did time study again once the changes were made. And then we looked later to see if there was any change. Um, so we gathered our data and put it into jump, and that's what we used to do the analysis. And um, on the next slide, we'll show you the different, all the steps it takes to check in a patient. But an important thing to note is that federal regulations require that every year a patient has to complete new paperwork. So even if they aren't a new patient, if they, like, January 1st, you go to the doctor's office, you have to complete new paperwork. So there are... Because of this, there are three different types of patients, and that really affects the time that it takes to check them in because they require different things. So a type 1 patient has already seen the doctor once this year. So that means that they don't have to do any more paperwork because they've already done it, and they don't have to submit their driver's license or health care insurance information. Um, then a type 2 patient is an existing patient, so they've seen this doctor before, but they haven't been in this year yet. So that means they have to complete paperwork and submit their driver's license and healthcare information. And then type three is a brand new patient. So they have to complete paperwork, submit driver's license and healthcare information. And then this also requires the office worker to prepare a brand new patient chart. And this um, does take quite a bit of time here. So this makes a big difference. So these are the steps that it takes to check a patient in, um, mostly in this order. There are some things that can kind of be done before other things, but uh, when we were watching the office worker, they did these steps almost in this order every time. And then the steps that have like a little note beside them, these steps aren't necessary for a type 1 patient, so a patient that's already been in this year and done paperwork. Um, so that makes a big difference in the type 1 patient times. So here's the old layout. Um, the monitor and everything was set up in the corner here. And then this is the window where the patient comes up um, and signs in. And then this is where the new um, file materials are. So the stickers and the new files that need to be made are all over here. And then this is the heavy bin that we talked about earlier, and later we will address um, what we did to solve that issue. So these are the changes that we made um, after observing the office worker on the first day. So the, the main thing was we moved the computer monitor, the keyboard, mouse, scanner, and chair to the window side of the desk, and we'll show you what that looks like on the next slide. We also, also moved the patient paperwork from, it was out over by the checkout desk, and we moved all that paperwork much closer to the check-in window, um, right where the office worker can reach it easier without having to get up. We also organized the drawers containing the pencils, paper, pens, stapler, all that stuff. And then we moved um, the materials needed for the new patient charts also to a drawer that's closer to the check-in window. 
So here's a new desk layout. So we moved all of this. It was kind of over here awkwardly in this corner. It's a small change, but it ended up making a big difference. So we moved this closer to the patient window, and then we moved the new patient paperwork to a drawer that's really close to the desk here. And then we set out the new patient chart materials. We set that out closer to the check-in window as well. So here's just an example of um, what the data looks like in Jump. So we just, there's a bunch of this, and then there are, there's a column for every step in the process. And this is an example of the before changes kind of thing. So before we did any analysis, we just checked that the data was normal, and it, it mostly was. Here and there, there were a few things that looked a little odd, maybe, but overall it was um, normal, so that was good. So we divided the data into two groups um, by using blocks, and so when we started the analysis, the data didn't seem to have equal equal variances, so we couldn't use ANOVA. Um, I was hoping to, see, to use ANOVA to see the effect that each patient type had on the time it takes to check them in, um, but we couldn't use that because the variances weren't the same. So instead we used an unequal variance test in JUMP, and then um, there were quite a few different tests that revealed that the data had unequal variances. Um, and then Welch's test, which is ANOVA assuming unequal variances, revealed that there was a difference in means between the two groups. Um, then we also ran a two-sample t-test and it revealed the same thing. So here are the tests that we ran. Um, so these are all the variance tests, and the small p-value tells us that um, the variances are not equal. And then here's Welch's test, and this is significant. So that this tells us that there is a difference in the means between the two groups. So um, this is the before changes, and then the block twos after changes. And then over here is the two sample t test. So you can see um, you can see the data better here, and the um, t test work as well with the same results. So another interesting thing about this that I think is good is you can tell that there's um, after we made changes there's a decrease in the variance in the data and the spread, um, and that even if the means the mean time had not changed, the fact that we decreased the variance in the data is also good. We also use a prediction profiler in JUMP um, to verify that the changes we made to the system actually resulted in faster check-in time. And JUMP recommended block two to minimize the time. Um, so that verifies that the changes that we made worked as we intended. So from the analysis, we can see that the changes that the team made to the check-in process did result in faster check-in times. Um, and also our hypothesis was shown to be accurate. So the two sample t-test reveals not only that the means are different, but also that the variance in check-in time is reduced. Like I said before, this was um, important because it's an increase in quality, because each type of patient now has a more similar experience. So there's not like the type 1 patient gets checked in really fast and the type 3 takes forever. Now everybody's check-in time is more similar. So we feel like the two changes that made the most that had the most impact on the reduction in check-in time was um, rearranging the desk layout and then moving the patient paperwork closer to the check-in window. Um, and before, the office worker couldn't simultaneously work and communicate with the patient at the window because they would have to turn to face the patient to communicate with them and then turn back and do their work. But when we change everything up, now the office worker can work and talk to the patient at the same time um, without having to turn, they all have to do is look up. So that um, definitely speeds up the process. So that concludes what we have for part one. Um, and part two, Emily will talk to you about. And that's going to focus more on the ergonomic aspect.